The symposium is the result of the work of many people in many places and spanning several generations, but what unites us all is a commitment to black queer feminist community building and sustaining, so this is part of a much larger project. The symposium is part of the Intersectional Black European Studies Project in BEST, funded by the Senate of Berlin, Germany, and is in close collaboration with the Center for Inter Interdisciplinary Gender Studies at the Technical University of Berlin, Yale's Center for Race, Indigeneity, and Transnational Migration, and with us at the European Studies Council. To have Black Studies is a way of acknowledgement and recognition and also to diversify knowledge itself and knowledge producing institutions. How do we sustain a process of space making to bring ourselves into visibility, bring our voices into sound? How do I define Black Europe? For me, Black Europe is first of all my home. I'm a seventh generation French of Senegalese origin, but I grew up surrounded with this question, where are you from? As Black Europeans, we are diverse. We come from different contexts, we speak different languages, but we also share experiences and unfortunately among them the one that we are treated like strangers in our own country. As if being black and European is something totally new and unheard of, which obviously is not true. Black people have been in Europe as long as white people, but that's not part of the official narrative and that is why we need to change it. It's history that still needs to be written and people need to be interviewed, what their memories are. As I speak, people around me are passing and cannot tell their stories anymore. The object of the archiving project was to go to spaces, to go talk to people who hold sort of important knowledges about black life, specifically in Berlin, specifically in Germany and to document those things uh, while the time was right, while we had people to do the work, while we had people to talk to, uh, stories to hear, stories to record. But it also meant looking at documents like the Africata magazine, like flyers, like meeting notes, to make sure that we had those things captured for future generations, whether scholars or activists or just community members, so that those things are accessible moving forward. I'm thrilled and I'm also overwhelmed. I met so many friends and colleagues who I didn't see for almost decades. And now we're here and I know it's, it's continuous. <laughs>